This weak Prime Minister has lost control. He's lost control of immigration, lost control of our borders. And now we're facing massive threats to our economy. Right now, there are as many as 500,000 people here illegally. There are 700,000 students who came here with the implicit promise they'd be able to stay forever. And now they're being told they have to leave with the temptation that they might head south for the much stronger economy than we have here, which would provoke a massive retaliatory tariff. So what's the plan to reverse all the damage the Prime Minister's done? The Honourable Minister for Immigration, Citizenship and Refugees. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Hundreds of thousands of people come to this country every year and then leave. They're called tourists. Hundreds of thousands of people come here as temporary residents and then they leave. Some become permanent residents. There is a plan to achieve that. They will migrate into permanent residency, but not all can stay here. And when they refuse to do so, they will be removed. But you can't make this up, Mr. Speaker. What the member opposite, the leader of the opposition is doing with the member of Edmonton Millwoods is going around to these people, pandering to them, promising them to have visas and promising not to deport them. That's deport them. That is highly irresponsible and it's wow. incompetent. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, that member uh, hallucinates almost as badly as, as his weak leader, who refuses to stand and answer for his own for border failures. Let's look at his, re his record. He opened Roxham Road. He kept it open for a year longer than the Americans required. He put out a tweet saying, welcome to Canada, inviting people to come here illegally. According to that minister's department, there are half a million people here illegally, all of whom could be tempted to go south of the border, provoking a massive retaliatory response. So once again, what's the plan to fix what he broke? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Immigration, Citizenship and Refugees. Speaker, we'll tweet out the video of him pandering to people, entertaining right. false hope, promising visas to everyone, promising they won't get deported. That's highly incompetent. Worse than that, Mr. Speaker, is he's refusing to get his security clearance. That is irresponsible for any purported leader of this country, any responsible person in politics. He needs to grow a pair, get the briefing. Get There is a, uh, a, a large uh, flexibility that the Speaker gives, of course, to the language that's used in here. Uh, but, but I think that might be, uh, that might be beyond the, the border. I'm going to ask the Honourable Minister if he could just uh, re withdraw those words. And Mr. Speaker, I, I withdraw those words. On a day like this, I would say he's all flannel and no axe. The, 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 the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Right. Mr. Speaker, um, once again shows the erratic, out-of-control government we have over there. His Prime Minister is hiding from questions. His Minister is losing control of his words and his mind. This is a government that is falling to pieces. Yes. The, the Prime Minister has lost control of the border, lost control of immigration, lost control of our finances, and now lost control of his caucus, who are saying that they've been intimidated into voting in favor of his tiny tax trick. He's lost control, but he's holding on to power.